Now, Mr. Morrison, shortly after you heard the July 25th call, um, you testified that you alerted the NSC legal advisor, John Eisenberg, um, pretty much right away. Is that right? Correct. And you indicated um, in your opening statement, or at least from your, your deposition, that you went to Mr. Eisenberg out of concern over the potential political fallout if the call record became public and, and not because you thought it was illegal. Is that right? Correct. Um, but you, you would agree, right, that asking a foreign government to investigate a domestic political rival is inappropriate, would you not? It, it's, not what, it's not what we recommended the president discuss. Now, in a second meeting with Mr. Eisenberg, what did you recommend that he do to prevent the call record from leaking? I recommended we restrict access to the package. Had you ever asked the NSC legal advisor to restrict access before? No. Did you speak to your supervisor, Dr. Kupperman, uh, before you went to speak to John Eisenberg? No. Did you subsequently learn that the call record had been put in a highly classified system? I did. And what reason did Mr. Eisenberg give you for why the call record was put in the highly classified system? It was a mistake. He said it was just a mistake? It, it was an administrative error. Now, isn't it also true, though, that you had authority to restrict access on the regular system if you wanted to? I, I believe I could have instructed the appropriate staff to do so, yes. So why did you go to the NSC legal advisor to recommend that? Well, I was also concerned um, that based on the participants in the listening room that day, I did not then and I do not now recall any representatives from the NSC legal advisor's office uh, as they were often on head of state calls, but not always. And I wanted to make sure that John Eisenberg as the legal advisor and his deputy uh, were aware uh, to, to review this particular transcript. And you wanted them to review it because you were concerned about the political, potential political consequences, not because of it was anything was wrong? Correct. And political consequences is, was an umbrella term I used in my statement to describe a series of effects I, I, I feared about what would happen if and when the content of the transcript or the content of the MemCon leaked. 